Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. How are you? Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to get rich on somebody else's blessing. How to use somebody else's blessing for yourself. Amen. How to use it. How to use, use someone else's blessing. I did. I'm not too proud to admit it. Huh? I didn't start out with my own blessing. Glory to God. You will become like the people you hook up with. Huh? A companion of fools soon comes to poverty. But a companion of rich people will become rich. You will become like the people you listen to. I'm going to explain all that to you today. Glory to God, the people you hook up with. How do I look? I had to fix myself up this morning. My entourage is not here. As most of you know, I'm doing my videos over here at the church now because we got lots of people and dogs and stuff in the house. They need to sleep. I'm an early riser. The Lord gets me up to spend time with him and with you and to pray. Glory to God, huh? I want to pray for our country today. First off, because God said to Moses, teach Aaron to bless the nation of Israel. I'm going to use that same blessing and I'm going to bless our country. And I'm telling you what, folks, make no mistake about it. When I speak the blessing over the United States of America, this country is blessed because I use the power in the name of Jesus to do it. And in the power, the wonderful name of Jesus, I bless our country right now. I say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you you and give you peace. I break every curse that's in this country right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. If I got the power to speak the blessing, I got the power to break the curse too. You watch. I know a lot of you are very concerned about our country right now. We're going to be fine. We're going to, I don't know how God's going to do it. I have no idea. But I know he will. I know he will. Say this with me on this happy Monday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I am extremely good looking too. I am beautiful. I am a beautiful person. I'm getting younger every day. I got a birthday coming up. We need to start thinking about it. Mary will tell you it's not till August, but I'm getting ready to turn the big three, four. Amen. I'm going to be 34 years old in August. Hey, we're giving away the faith book. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today is the last day for this faith book. Man, there are lots of people who are wanting these books. We got a bunch of them. We're going to send out a whole pile of these books. Everybody who does their tithes and their offerings and their donations, either Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or today, is going to get one of these books. If you already have one, designate one for somebody else. It's the, it's the, the best book ever written on faith. Tells you how to, what faith is how it works, how to get it. Faith doesn't do you any good if you don't know how to get it, how to increase it. Why do you think people like Kenneth Copeland always come out on top? Because they know how to increase their faith for what they need or what they want, when they want it or when they need it. There's nothing they can't have. Those people are, are, are you know, and me, there's nothing I can't have. I get everything I want, everything I need. I am living 
in an area right now of great faith, which is where Brother Copeland and Keith Moore and Jesse Duplantis, Joyce Meyer, Joel Olstein, Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, Leroy Thompson, those people are living in an area of great faith where everything just comes to them. And I'm in there. I said years ago, I told Mary, I will become like the people I listen to. Well, guess what? I caught their blessing too. I got a hold of their blessing. Huh? You can get rich on somebody else's blessing. I did. I absolutely did. I, I piggybacked somebody else's blessing. We were flat broke. And I hooked onto this group of people. I'm telling you what. I started listening to this group of people. And I'm telling you what. I devoured everything this small group of people have. Make sure the group of people you hook up with is on the right track. Is on the right track. There's a very prominent group out there right now. And they're telling everybody to name their seed and do all this and that. That's not scriptural. That's not scriptural. Beware of these people. They're good people. And some of them are very wealthy. But there is no scripture for naming your seed. You know? And that right there was a red flag to me. Even Brother Hagen said, there's no scripture for it. You, you reap what you sow. You can't sow wheat and call it corn. You want money? Sow money. You want love? Sow love. You want friendship? Sow friendship. You're going to get exactly what you sow. Your spirit, does, your, is, which is the ground you plant seed in, does not determine the harvest. The seed determines the harvest. Plant God's word on what you need inside your spirit and it will grow. I planted God's word inside my heart from this certain group of people that I hooked up with, especially the blessed man that I hooked up with. I piggybacked somebody else's blessing and I planted his word, the word he spoke, on and the people that he was attached to and the people who had attached themselves to him, I, I planted their word on abundance in my heart for several years and I got rich doing it because I became just like them. I became just like them. Now, I'm not at that level yet. But I'm not where I used to be either. I'm getting closer to them every day. Of course, they're moving forward too. They set a high bar. They set a high bar. But I'm after them. Let me tell you something, folks. And I, there's nobody in my family who's ever lived like we're living. And I'm not doing anything different except who I hooked up with. Get rich on somebody else's blessing. People who have hooked up with me have gotten, so a lot of them have gotten rich. Some of them are still waiting to get a hold of this. That's why we're teaching so much on the curse of the law. And this message is also about the curse of the law. All of these are. Because, and this, this other group that I was talking about, they don't know anything about speaking the blessing or breaking the curse. All they do, they're doing some scriptural stuff, but nobody has ever gotten a hold of this like I did. That you are not going to get the blessing of the Lord to come upon you as long as the curse of the law is in your life. Break the curse. Have the blessing spoken over you by the people you are hooked up with. By, the, by, by where you do your offerings and donations and tithe. Now, I'm not the only one who speaks the blessing over people. But there ain't many. And as far as I know, there's none of them 
that you can call. None of them that you can get a hold of. There is the only prominent minister in this country that you can call and actually talk to is me. The only one who will pray with you. The only one who will get your prayers answered. Now, if somebody else pops up, I'll tell you about it. But so far, none of them have. None of them have. The pastors are busy. I understand that. I'm not faulting them. Some of these people have huge ministries. We have a very large ministry too, but we've got ours streamlined to the point where I can take time, lots of time, to talk to people and still do all of my ministry obligations and fly airplanes and everything like that. It's incredible the way we have this set up. Amen. This whole huge ministry almost runs itself, <laughs> except there's a lot of work to it, but, but we get it all done. Amen. We don't have a lot of employees either. We have people that help us, but mostly a lot of volunteers. But, but we have people who help us, people who do things. I praise God for these people. Amen. That's my entourage. So praise God. You will become like the people you hook up with. You find a blessed person. You stay with that blessed. People come and people go. The people that drop out never seem to get it. Amen. I was determined. I mean, I stayed there for years and never saw any increase. But I knew I was on the right track. But see, nobody broke the curse of the law in my life. But here's the deal. You have to receive it when that curse is broken. You have to receive it. You know, if you're not receiving it from me, then go to the Lord yourself and do it or find out how to do it. Amen. Because you need to get a hold of this. If you get a hold of this blessing, I'm telling you, it's absolutely life changing. When the blessed person spoke the blessing over me, I felt it go through me, I'm telling you. And I've had people tell me that. They go, whoa, Pastor Jim, I felt something come off me. That was the curse. I've had people actually tell me that they felt the curse come off them. We've had people's lives change. There's people out there watching this video right now. I'm telling you, their whole life has changed. One of them in particular I'm thinking about right now, <clears throat> she is so blessed that her friends were suspicious that something sinister was going on because they said, nobody can increase like that. Yeah? Nobody until they get blessed of the Lord because the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. And he has no sorrow to it. Don't you ever apologize for what God is doing in your life. I am not the least bit embarrassed to tell people God has made me rich. He made Abraham rich, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, David, and Solomon. That's what God did. Gideon and Samson, all the rest of them. God's people live in abundance. Jesus said, I'm come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I said, I will never be satisfied until I am living the abundant life that Jesus came to provide for me. Amen. And neither should you. Tell everybody you know about this video. Don't forget to get your faith book. If you have one, get one for somebody else. Designate somebody else's, write somebody, uh, text me somebody else's name and address. I'll send them a book. You can do it as a Christmas present and we'll tell them who it's from or we'll just send it anonymously. However you want them to get it. You're doing them an incredible favor. In the meantime, use my blessing to get yourself rich. Just hang on. Hang on. Watch these videos. Go back through them. There's 2,000 videos in there. Most of them are 15 minutes long. Watch a couple of them every day. I had somebody call me and say, Pastor Jim, I watched 300 of your videos in the last three weeks. Praise God. Praise God. That's somebody who's going to get blessed. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life.